Charlotte's in Natural here in Newton, Kansas, and welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. I think I missed last week, so when you're looking at the numbers, or maybe it's been two weeks, I don't know, I lose track. This is a time when it's hard to keep track of time. And I just wanted to touch on, maybe if you're going a little bit crazy too, and now you've been um, suddenly feeling the change of season, and thinking, gee, I think Christmas could be coming sooner than I'm aware of. And yet you have these projects that you're working on and maybe you just need a break. Maybe you need a little break. And that's what's really valuable with all these stitch alongs and sew alongs that are online. They are going to be available for um, a while. So if you start one now, you can just take a break and breathe and then dive into whatever project you're, needs more of your attention and then come back and take a little breather and work on a little something. And I want to talk about one today that is really quite neat. It's being offered by Moda Fabrics and it's called Stitch Pink. And this is a good one for the month of October. They actually started it last year with the um, awareness of breast cancer um, on, on their agenda and then they continued it this year. So it's, uh, it's a really neat program. They are putting out a different block every day, I think it is. They started October 1st. And this is today's block. So I just wanted to show you this. This is a little Dresden plate. But if you check this out, just I think the easiest way to do it is to just Google, go online and just Google Moda Stitch Paint. And it will take you to the right pages go to um, Moda's um, website and look at their inspiration um, page. I think it's called um, Inspirations and Resources. And you'll see Stitch Paint program. You'll see all kinds of other neat stuff. Um, but anyway, the Sew Along is, is what you're, um, I'm talking about today. So the Stitch Paint Sew Along. And this is called Jersey Girl. It's a Dresden fan, but it's named after um, a woman who's inspirational in this artist's life who is from Jersey. So she called it Jersey Girl. We're allowed to do things like that, and we're allowed to um, play with fabrics sometimes. This one, as you can see, she's used a lot of different fabrics in there. If you go with a Zen Chic uh, Jelly Roll, this is called Just Red, that actually has quite a bit of pink and a lot of different colors in there that are kind of fun. We also have, um, I have the gray part, which is Edita Sitar's um, Pinks and Reds and Naturals. Those are from Andover, and we have some of those on um, by the yard. And maybe you just want to dive into your stash and start cutting some things. So when you look at the pattern, it's very important when you do any pattern that you're printing offline that you check what the scale is. So when you print this pattern, you have to be sure that this one inch square really measures one inch. And when you have that down, then the blades will be the right size. So this is the little blades for cutting these. Um, little um, blades on the Dresden fan or the Jersey Girl. And I've divided this into quarters, so essentially it is five blades per quarter. So you'll one, two, three, four, five, you'll sew five of them and make sure that it's really a 90 degree angle before you sew them together. So this is a nice little size because you can cut that from uh, strips, from two and a half inch strips, or you can cut two of them from a five inch um, charm pack and have a lot of them so they'll just uh, turn and they'll cut real well. You can cut them out of the two and a half inch jelly rolls. They fit on that. And you can cut your own. I love this uh, pink and yellow version and I've got the um, flamingos here which is one of my favorite um, birds and it's such a fun print. And anyway, there is a sew along going on, so they will show you exactly how to do this. One of the things that got lost in the translation, I think, the, the artist of this block had in mind that she wanted the background fabric to show in here. So these little edges are turned back, so that's the background fabric. And then somebody else who made it ended up applicating a circle over that. So there are different ways to do it. There are different tips included every day with the different blocks. And I just think it's fun to, um, to try different things. And maybe you don't even have a whole project in mind. Maybe just go with your scrap bin and 
start making some of these blocks. They're really fun. So anyway, so I just want to remind you as you're going into the holiday season, don't get too stressed out about it. Remember to have some fun. So that's my Wisdom Wednesday today. Thanks for joining me. I'm Charlotte from Charlotte So Natural.